<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm today. I'm on Doug and Joanna's farm. This is what we call our bull, bull and steer farm. And uh, we just moved the herd into a strip. We're strip grazing this off in narrow, long, rectangular strips. And I just wanted to show you, this is the ridge that I worked on last winter. Some of y'all may have remembered the four wheeler. I was out here by myself. I had the loppers, my little trusty electric chainsaw, and I was going after the autumn olives. The autumn olive bush had taken over this whole ridge. I mean, there was hundreds of them in here. And I painted them, I cut them and painted them with the crossbow. And I'm just walking down this ridge to look at what kind of kill I got on them to see if I see anything coming back. And uh, I ran over a stump a while ago. There was no sprouts coming off that stump. I mean, look at this beautiful forage. I mean, it's got everything. It's got clover. It's got Korean lespedeza, brome, fescue, orchard grass. There's Timothy, here's Timothy. It's got the uh, pollen on it this morning. Of course, the red clover is being chewed on by the deer. <laughs> you can see how they've nipped it. Here's your Korean Lespedeza. Super, super high quality legume. And guess what? I don't see a single autumn olive. I mean, I got them, I went after them. And when I cut them, I, I made sure that I painted that stump really, really well. Um, oh, look at this. Look at that. That is a clump of big blue steel. A very healthy clump, I might add. Gosh. Folks, it's just amazing. Once you get the brush off and bring the animals in. Now we unrolled hay on here this winter. Um, look at that. Look at the forage. I mean, that Lespedeza. They call it in around me, a uh, rucker area, that stuff's up to my elbow. Look at that. Uh, this is Korean Lespedeza. It's called the poor man's alfalfa. So it'll grow on soils that normally wouldn't grow a whole lot of good forage. Korean Lespedeza has that opportunity. It'll go. It does need rain. Uh, we've gotten ample rain this spring, and voila, there it is. I tell you what, I couldn't believe how much those steers are growing. Um, we've got all of our macho bulls taken out. They're on another farm on eastern gamma grass. We're flushing them on that field right before we turn them into the, the cow herd, which will be next week. Eight, well, let's see, today's the 24th. Yeah, seven more days. Yep. I'm telling you what. It was a lot of work clearing all this. And I took all the brush and I stuck it down in those draws in that ravine there. There's a wash going down that. I stuck them all down in there to help slow down the water. Look at this. Holy moly. I'm glad I came down here because I see a problem right over there. What is that? What the heck? There's a dead tree down there, folks. There's something great big on top of it. What the heck is that? It's not a coon. It's big. It hasn't seen me. I can't tell from here what it is. big and it's black. It's got a... What the heck? If I try and... It's fairly tall. Is that a bobcat? It's kind of a brown. A moon. What in the world? There it comes back again. Oh, it's turkeys. It's turkeys. A whole bunch of turkeys. They're walking on top of that log over there. There's little pullets flying up on there. Look at them. 
and then the, the hens. <laughs> A whole flock of turkeys. Anyway, I need to go over and check that out. That tree's laying on my fence. And that big windstorm we got, so that's got to be cut off of there before I put the cattle in here. Man, oh man. Folks, this is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I love what I'm seeing. So it was a lot of work getting the brush off here, but you know what? I didn't brush hog it because uh, brush hogging doesn't do any good for, for, all the, for autumn olives. Uh, it does knock them down. It sets them back one more year, but they're right back again the next year. And so I just painstakingly came through here and made sure I got them. And now I'm done with them. I'm done with them on this ridge. Now you still got to keep an eye out for the, the stragglers that may want to come back next year. But, you know, I like to get them and be done with it. And uh, if you get them good, you're not fighting them the rest of your life. You know, especially when you got livestock following you. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I've still got another fence to put in. I'm going to fence this ridge off to where I start down at that woods line. I'm going to run a wire right up this valley to that foiler. And this will be their paddock in the morning. And then that ridge, let me zoom back out. That ridge over there. But you can't see because of all the trees that'll be the next day yep. there's so much forage in here my goodness yeah it's just it's just awful rewarding folks i'm gonna get out of here and uh, y'all have a great one and uh, we'll see you next time and everyone be safe out there